Right, the next in line we have Greg Banks, recruiting manager at Digit, previously a technical recruiter at Course Hero. Candidates stand out if they clearly define what they designed, developed and or contributed to the projects they either owned or worked on. Simple. So technical recruitment has a lot to do with not only the projects that, that they do, the size, the scale and the scope of project that they are doing, however small or big they are, you need to mention and you need to mention the crispier point of what is that you have done and what is your takeaway. And that's that is a significant contribution. Only thing is you need to have the right you know approach of expression there. Be crispier at the same time. Sound that you have done and you have done it seriously. Say what the team did as the whole to show that you understand the bigger picture of what your team was contributing to the company. Meaning that if you are working as a team, you need to showcase that you are a team player. You are disciplined. Now this gets very serious if a question comes from the recruiter that uh, give us an example of how good team player you are and if we are trying to figure out there, I think we lose on time, we lose on the opportunity ultimately. If you have been a team player, you should have one answer, one example ready with you and bring about the coherence of, of how you have gelled with the team irrespective of different characteristics and personality traits that you have worked with and you have focused on the job and not on the people. That is what it, it means. Elaborate on the work you have done to demonstrate your ability to communicate your thoughts to others. If you have a plan and if you are able to express it with, in a team, I think then it's a great sign of leadership. So you can miss out on this if you are unable to express yourself and if you have done it and if you have explained to all, gelled with them and you have brought the right desired result, I think please do that. Both of these are vital important for startups. So startups are here to, it is going to be an ever ever evolving dynamic world of startups. Startups will come, they will vanish for whatever good reason or bad reason but it gives immense opportunity for engineers to indulge in and maybe have a very close look of how the startup works. There are bigger challenges with startups. There are a lot of hiccups. There are a lot of you know rough uh, terrain ride. But in short, if you are a part of startup, I'm sure you are part of many challenges which will make you to learn and be able to upskill yourself in terms of the practical world that is that is there. Also, candidates that pay close attention to the visual representation of their experiences resume set themselves apart. So practical is something which is desired by almost all the recruiters. So how do you get uh, into practical world is if you have good amount of internship, if you have an exposure to the project, if you have done a part time or a full time job, I think you are in a position to answer to many a question because it gets easier. You, what you have done, you have done straight away. It comes, you know, as a second nature that uh, from nine to seven, I was occupied. I used to take orders from my boss or from the owner and I used to obey those orders. I used to monitor those orders every day. I used to feed, you know, give them feedback and monitor my own work. So if this is what you have done, I think you have, you are almost there, you know, ready for the job because the job entails whatever that you have done in your internship or project or your part-time or full-time job and that is what is, is desired. If you have an exposure of that kind, I think you are very close to getting a job, right? Besides your LinkedIn, your digital physical resume needs to stand out on your behalf. So time is changing. What Greg talks about is, is there a better representation of yours as a digital form of resume? I think the world is changing and we need to realize that video resume is here to stay for a longer, longer time. And many 90% of the recruiters today, they ask for video resume just because of this Corona effect, this pandemic effect, I think they were not receiving, but now many candidates are getting ready for video resume and it's a wonderful thought because at one go, these recruiters are able to identify how confident, how knowledgeable, how job ready you are, how professional you are. And by looking at them, it gets minimum reaction time to get back to a candidate and recruit. So recruitment process in the technical world is changing. This representation has to be concise, clear and organized description of the experience that you have undergone. And it speaks volume about the candidate. Always have a very close watch if you are doing a, a, maybe a physical resume for a spelling and grammar. Written communication displays an engineer's ability to code clearly. 
the recruitment team has found that candidate with sloppy or unarticulated resumes do not fare good chance to score even the second level of interview right and even after seeing the you know conducting interviews and having plan a and plan b test how good or bad the candidate is the data clearly showed that candidates who had untidy resumes fared less chance than those with the well written ones beautifully said i think that is where we need to work harder that is where we need to spend time and make our resumes sound absolutely professional